it's a beautiful day with a beautiful weather hi welcome to my page if you're new here please make sure you follow the page and like it and if possible share but lately I have been receiving messages from people around the world both friends and even people that I don't know and I think they might have figured out that I'm in Korea based on my social media profile so the questions have always been they always ask questions about what is life like living in a place like Korea what could be like their expectations if they should like maybe visit Korea or maybe move to Korea for maybe studies or work so they wanted to know like the challenges that they might face I decided to make this video to like maybe respond to some of those questions so the first one is that Koreans are like very kind I mean like they're so kind to a fault for example if you travel to a city like Seoul which has like the highest population in Korea which is about 25 million let's say you're trying out the embassy of your country and uh, maybe you're in an area that is not very far from the embassy and then you meet a random Korean and then ask the Korean to like help you out look at the embassy they'll be too kind to the point where they can actually take you right up to the the embassy building which is something that doesn't happen in many other countries for example in some countries people just like tell you to maybe keep on moving straight hit uh, a red intersection and then maybe go right and ask so you have to make sure you chew it into tiny pieces before you swallow people really do drink here so for example you can be invited might have the feeling that maybe you don't like their friendship they might not take it okay people don't steal here which is a good thing it could you could see it as a cultural shock but it is a good thing though people don't steal in korea it's like one of the safest places on earth that i know it was a situation where i was like riding the subway and uh, it happened that the korean was having a backpack and then on going out when he got to his destination he forgot to carry along his backpack and then went out so the backpack was like on the train and for more than one hour people were like in the train they needed a seat but that backpack was like occupying a seat you don't have to touch what is not yours you have to allow the authorities to come and take care of it if you take it make sure you go with it to the authorities because if you don't take it to the authorities and maybe decide to own it there's a high chance that you might be discovered people don't fight in korea no matter how angry you might be don't fight especially if you're in foreigner and uh, your opponent is a korean make sure you don't fight because no matter what the law will favor korean don't even attempt to punch anyone if you have any problem it's better you look for another means to solve the problem or maybe just walk away if you decide to fight know that the law will side with koreans so don't even attempt in most korean trains you have like a, a section that is reserved for the elderly people you might get into a train and the train is like really full and you're young you're not pregnant you're not old and that seat is empty make sure you don't sit on that seat because you might be scolded in other countries people do sit at times but in korea make sure that you don't sit in the in the section or the seats that are reserved for elderly people in case you ever come to korea so if you're driving in korea make sure you don't do this in korea people do not give the way to cars cars give the way to people for example if you're driving and then somebody is crossing the street you have to make sure you wait for the person to cross or if the person is like walking on the road and the person is not giving way make sure you don't you don't you don't hold allow the person to notice that you're like driving coming slowly behind him and he him or her until the person decides to to like clear the way for you to pass it's very easy to to notice people who are dating in korea they have an a thing that they call couples for example 
if you're dating a girl you guys are supposed to always put on the same maybe t-shirt and then with a short and then obviously the same type of shoes so it's very easy to to recognize people who are dating in Korea they'll always be having like the same dresses whenever they're they're going out or maybe strolling on the streets so it's so easy to know people who are dating and then another thing is that in Korea you know how people do hug like you can hug a boy a boy can hug a girl in Korea if the girl is not your girlfriend you're not supposed to hug the girl so basically in Korea men can hug men and women can hug women it's not like a boy hugging a friend those things don't happen here you're not supposed to do that here when living in Korea do not use red ink you know Korean society can be very superstitious red in Korea is associated with death so it is a common superstition in Korea that if you write somebody's name in red that means the person will die or you're wishing that the person should die just like in other Western societies black is often associated with death in Korea writing somebody's name with red ink means you want the person to die it's just like red is linked with blood blood means pain and death so when somebody dies his name is usually written on the family register in red and the funeral banners the only time red ink is accepted in Korea is when you're using like official stamps in official documents in case you're a teacher in Korea when writing your student's name make sure you don't write it in red ink so as not to offend any Korean basically that's it about life in Korea if you have any comments or maybe specific worries that you might want me to address you can like maybe drop me a comment and I'll be ready to to respond and if you want to get more videos about specific topics you're free to ask and make sure you share the video and thank you see you next time